Welcome to another BetaMonkey tutorial. Today what we're going to be looking at is how to transition and blend between loops. And by that I mean taking one loop and helping it sound a little bit more natural as it goes into the next loop. And that's particularly important when you're going from one voice on the drums to another. In a real recording situation, the drummer might be on the ride, switches over to the hi-hat, and it sounds natural because the ride will decay as it naturally does. But with drum loops, it isn't always the case. In this example, we have a two loops. One's a 70 RC groove, meaning it's on the ride cymbal, and one's a 70 HH groove, meaning it's on the closed hi-hat. And what you're gonna hear is that when this loop finishes, the ride is gonna cut off very abruptly and go right into the closed hi-hat. Now listen for the hi-hat. Now not bad, but you might want to get that ring to carry over. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into our single hit sample folders. All the Betamonkey discs come with those. And they're really useful for doing this kind of work when you want to transition and blend. As you can see, the folder's full of snares, rides, kicks, hi-hats, crashes. What we need is a ride. So let's preview a few. All right. Maybe that one will work. And we'll put it on that last bit of the previous pattern. Let's get the volume the same. And see how that sounds. Notice that ride carried over. So if the drums were alone, you definitely would not hear that first loop ending and a second loop beginning. Now, of course, you're going to have music on top. So let's pull up the two bass patterns that we have and see if we can hear anything at all going on where the first loop transitions into the second loop. So there you have it, a simple way to transition between two disparate sounding loops. Now another alternative might be to just simply take a crash. We can also do that and put a crash on where that second loop begins. All right, that sounds good. That's a nice full one. And we're going to put that right where that one begins. We can still leave the ride up, you know, blend these ideas together. And what you're going to have is something that sounds like this now. Totally natural, totally realistic. One of the benefits, mind you, of our technique of often not putting crashes at the beginning of loops. We let you blend those in. As you can see, that loop there doesn't have a crash. And that's really nice because then you can add your own crash where you would like. And I doubt if anyone's going to hear that first little hi-hat hit there. Again, you're going to have music going like so. And that's really the secret to good, natural-sounding drum track construction from loops. So there you have it. A simple way to transition between loops and get more realistic drum tracks into your music. Enjoy the grooves.